In this video, we're going over key features, seeing who this product would be good for, how it compares to the competition, and whether it's actually worth your hard-earned money. The Surface Pro 6 was one of our favorites. It was our go-to tablet-laptop hybrid, since at first look, the new Surface Pro 7 seemed pretty much the same as the Surface Pro 6. We were a little skeptical. Were there really going to be any worthy improvements here? That's why we took a closer look. There's no denying the sheer versatility of the Surface Pro 7. It's a really cool device. It's just over one pound, and it's easily one of the most portable, fully-fledged PCs out there. There are basically three modes. The obvious laptop mode. You can open the built-in kickstand with the type cover for a full laptop experience. The next most obvious use is tablet mode. Just close the kickstand and remove or fold the type cover back for a standalone Intel tablet. The third mode, which is often overlooked, is actually our preferred option. It's called studio mode. The kickstand gets lowered, at which point the screen sits perfectly at 15 degrees. This makes the Surface Pro 6 optimal for writing and drawing with the Surface Pen. Plus, just that name, the studio mode. It's just the coolest sounding mode. You'll find that the type cover magnetically clips on and off with ease. It's not such a struggle, like when trying to flip over the 2-in-1 into tablet mode. As for colors, the tablet comes in gray or fingerprint magnet black. The touchpad is smooth and also very responsive to the touch. Typing on it isn't as awkward as you might think. The keys have deep feeling travel, and it's got a nice bouncy feel when our fingers leave the keys. The Alcantara fabric is supposed to be stain resistant, although we admit we haven't fully tested Microsoft's claim here, but we're sure to test it eventually, even if it's accidentally. We love the 12.3 inch screen. The 2736 by 1824 resolution makes just about anything on screen look stunning. The pixel density is definitely impressive. It produces really sharp and clear images. It's unfortunate, though, that the bezels remain quite thick. They make the otherwise sleek design look a bit outdated. We found Microsoft's PixelSense technology creates a very thin panel for images. They really pop. Plus, PixelSense makes it so that pressing with both the Surface Pen stylus and our fingertips feels quite natural. Overall, it's very responsive, with no lag, partially making up for the large bezels. We were happy to see that the Surface Pro 7 has now included USB-C, along with USB-A. More connectivity options are always a plus, but the Pro 7 still lacks Thunderbolt 3. That would have been great for power users and creatives. One thing we wouldn't have minded in the omission is Microsoft's proprietary Surface Connect port for charging. We feel just like with the thick bezels, that it's an outdated design which should have been replaced with charging over USB-C. Now under the hood, that's where we found the most impressive upgrades. You'll find that there's not just improved performance here, but there's also varied choices for configuring your Surface Pro 7. That means you can get the right level of power for your budget and your needs. The Pro 7 features 10th Gen Intel Core i3, i5, or i7 processors. Not only do you get the performance bump, the 10th Gen processors are more power efficient as well. You'll enjoy better performance and longer battery life. You'll also find the newer and faster RAM in different configurations as well. Plus, the integrated GPUs also have been upgraded. So if you're working on 3D models, editing videos, and creating content, you'll love the overall performance bump. When it comes to battery performance, the Surface Pro 7 is capable of up to 10.5 hours of video playback. But of course, actual usage and just watching videos are very different tasks. We found with more intensive apps, we got close to 4 hours of battery performance. Not great, but not bad either. Although we briefly touched upon it earlier, we want to again point out something that separates the Surface Pro 7 from all the other 2-in-1s and tablet-laptop hybrids out there. If you already have the Surface Pro 6, there may not be much motivation to upgrade to the Surface Pro 7, but if you're looking for an amazing, lightweight, extremely portable, powerful, versatile tablet-laptop hybrid, the Surface Pro 7 is next-gen and should be your next buy.